<laughs> my name is Augustus Mweke. Uh, you can call me Gus for short. My biggest uh, influence or inspiration into painting was actually my dad. Uh, he actually wanted me to be an Air Force pilot with the Nigerian military, which I wasn't uh, interested, you know. I was sent there, but I have to run away. When I finally made up my mind to be an artist, you know, he, there was an encouragement on his side. The painting behind me is uh, Onyinyo. Onyinyo in Igbo means uh, shadow. My first encounter with uh, the painting, uh, uh, with shadow, is with the work of uh, Paul Cezanne. The leaves in his painting, that's Paul Cezanne's painting, was black, which at my age then, 10 years old, it was unusual because the leaves are green. So I asked my dad, he said to me, look at it deeply. Probably he's trying to conceal something. And ever since then, I tried to look at shadow. I tried to identify shadow. I tried to kind of uh, create familiarity to an unfamiliar images that shadow can present. But I started looking at shadow critically um, in 2017 on a vacation in Dubai because the only thing I can associate myself with there was the shadow of myself, an absence that leaves uh, a present within a space. So I think after that uh, uh, vacation, I started thinking of how I can represent uh, visually in my work, how I can represent uh, shadow. UAL is a, is a wonderful place to uh, study. I, I couldn't have uh, asked for anything better than what I'm getting here. Uh, Hi, I'm Aaron. This is my work. There is a plastic tray. This work contains two male flower boxes. Um, they are made of fluorescent screen printed plexiglass and mirrors. Fluorescent pigment has always been my practice material. The effect of fluorescent um, screen printing is very bright and shiny on the UV light. When we look at the work, we could see the surrounding environment reflected by the mirror. I hope that through the mirror, the flower box could be integrated with the surrounding environment. Nature and the relationship we have with it is key to my practice. Immersing oneself in nature can give great comfort, but is not uh, is something not everyone able to access. If humans not able to get closer contact with the nature world, experiencing it through museum display could be a past future. During MA study, I expand my practical um, skills related to printmaking, especially screen printing. I think the thing I enjoy most in the whole year is. Uh, working in the printmaking workshops. Um, the technicians helped me very professionally, mix, which makes the process of making work get twice the result with half the effort. My name is Pavel Dyer. I uh, graduated from MA Drawing, uh, and this is my work. Uh, who hasn't touched ground even once can never be in heaven. This is a work is based um, on a dream I had. The dream was about the sunflower, which was trying to reach sun and grab it. And then I planted a seed, and another sunflower grew out of it, and they started to fight for the sunlight a merge between a couple of techniques. It's a um, dry point, uh, which is made on Japanese tissue paper, which is mounted on canvas. Attached to it is a glass box with bronze cast of actual root of real sunflower, which I have dried, uh, cleaned, and then uh, using wax losing technique, um, cast it in the bronze. Since I'm based in drawing, and in printmaking, I can use all my skills and learn some new ones uh, because this is my first bronze cast and my first sculpture. And this was only possible because I had access to many facilities, 
Camberwell to create different types of works. Also, uh, many skilled te technicians who are ready to help us to learn completely new things. We always have to uh, take a leap of faith to do anything, to accomplish anything. Hello, my name is Ishwari Ambavne. I'm at Campbell College of Arts and my pathway is drawing. The name of my showcase is Plant Intelligence because my central theme for my research is biophilia and I've been investigating why we have lost our connection with nature. Spending time with nature reduces cortisol levels which dictate our productivity, creativity, our stress levels, our heart rate and our general moods and well-being. Um, I realized that my drawings have a very huge sculptural quality in them. So as a student, I've been working part-time at a warehouse and a restaurant and everything that you see here is old menu cards, cartons, cereal boxes. This huge wooden board is, I is something I found at the refuse store in my accommodation. In the final unit, we had to think about some collaborative opportunities or professional practice that we want to dedicate our practice to. I really want to group up with community builders, interior designers and architects who believe that biophilia is an effective, um, it's, it's an effective release to our stresses and the kind of lives we lead today because they have the technical knowledge of a built space that I probably don't, but I will add the artistic and the humanistic value to the space that probably they don't. Hi, I'm Long from MA Sculpture, and I'm really glad to introduce my work, Pavilion, in China, Japan, uh, England, uh, in many countries. Three elements is quite important uh, for garden, uh, mountain, water, and pavilion, because mountain and water uh, symbolize the nature. So you can see it's still match. Uh, uh, looks a little bit like uh, rock. Um, also, uh, the whole drawing um, similar to the Chinese green landscape painting. But the trees, all of the trees are from uh, UK, from OK, because I also want to remind the local people about their culture and their nature. Um, I really got a lot of uh, great help and support from our tutor and the technician. Uh, gave me many pressure memories also. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shayan. Uh, I'm from Kolkata, India. Uh, my graduate showcase submission is part of an um, ongoing body of work comprising of uh, hand-woven tapestries and ceramic objects. The tapestry I'm showing here is woven on a, on a vertical frame loom using a cotton cord warp and weft with some materials which are relevant to and, and contextual to my practice. So I've used gamcha, which is a traditional tal from, from Bengal. I've used strips from kantha, which is a quilt. So I've used used quilts, which are worn out and kind of stripped them and dyed them. And I've also used hand-spun cotton from Central India, transforming a simple object using hand and transcending it from its usual material form and function and making it something more significant and even otherworldly. I've also looked at ritual mark making. These things are important ethnographic markers of material culture. I have a textile design background. I'm not from a fine art background. And this course, I think, gave me all the information that I would need to understand a new field. Now I can let the material lead, lead the process. And that I've gained from my one year at Gamboa.